If you're preparing last minute for an interview, here's five of my best tips to land the job. So whether you're in the car, you're sitting outside the place, these are the tips I wanna give you right now that you can apply within just a few minutes for your interview. So my first last minute interview tip is smile. They're going to remember how you made them feel. All the things that you said, yes, they're going to cling on to those things, but we've all left an interview. We've been like, well, I feel like this is the job for me. I feel like we just clicked, we connected. And that's gonna make more of an impact than anything you could say. So when somebody enters the room or when you hop on the Zoom call, what you'd be so shocked is the amount of people who don't smile. They hop on the interview and this is their face. You don't look excited. So the best thing that you can do is before your video comes on, if you're on a Zoom interview, start smiling so that the moment that you get on and they see your face, they see that you're smiling. It's a great first impression. The hiring manager makes a decision subconsciously in the first few minutes of the interview. I had somebody who I really liked the interview, but for the first 20 or 30 minutes, she wasn't smiling and she kind of seemed down. It took the second half of the interview and then another additional interview to convince myself because for the first part, she wasn't smiling. The second tip is be interested. People like people who are interested in them. Think about the people you like in life. Do they talk at you or do they ask you questions and engage with you? Do they show interest in your life? Show interest in the person who's interviewing you. Ask them how they like their role, how they like the job. If they're the CEO or founder, ask why they founded the company. What made them so interested in this? People love curious people. And so if you can show genuine curiosity and interest in this role by asking them questions, they will like you more. The third tip I have is speak their language. Speak to the role with the same same terminology that they posted it. So I'll give you an example. If you're applying for a sales manager role, but you've been working in consumer products, don't use terms like CPG something something. Use the terminology. As an employer, I can tell you that when I'm looking for somebody to oversee a function, for example, sales, I'm going to look, do they say high ticket? Do they say closing? Do they speak the same language? And so the best way to find this out is to go look at the job description and look at the terminology they use. How do they speak to that specific function? The fourth tip I have for you is that you can never be overdressed. I don't necessarily think that's true for every occasion in life, but I do think for a job interview, it is absolutely. Even if I show up to the job interview and that person who's applied is dressed better than myself, who's the founder and CEO, I'm impressed with them that they took the time and put the effort into looking that nice because it shows me that they find this role important. Not everybody dresses up and it will set you apart from other people because whether we like it or not, we are judgmental characters. And so we judge people the first thing when we see them. So if you smile and you show up dressed very nicely, you are going to make a better impression than those who don't. My fifth last minute tip for you is compliment the interviewer. Do some research ahead of time to figure out whether it's the founder, the CEO, the COO, the hiring manager, whomever it is. Go look on their social media profiles. Go look on their LinkedIn. Find a opportunity where you can compliment that person. I think it'd be really cool to work together because actually I saw that you and your husband love working out. Actually, me and my husband love working out. And I was like, that's really cool because I feel like we have a lot of the same values and we also have some of the same. People like people who give them compliments even when they know it's on purpose and for a reason. Studies show that people still like those people. Even if you feel like it's cheesy, take it into the interview and hit it out the park.